Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I finally decided to make a YouTube channel and my first video is going to be a get ready with me Q&A. The first question that I got asked was how old were you when your passion for makeup started? I'd have to say that I've always kind of loved makeup. I loved watching YouTube. YouTube was a big thing for me um, with makeup. I just would sit there for hours and hours and watching people do their makeup and I still do. Um, so I think that's kind of what really sparked it. Yeah, basically I just fell in love with makeup. I can't really pinpoint an exact age that I was. Um, so I'm going to actually start doing the makeup now. <laughs> when I started watching YouTube, that's when I started um, doing makeup on myself and then like practicing on family members. I'm just going to move on now to the next question. Tell us about your dog. So. I have a dog called Susie, Susan when she's bold, and she is a miniature schnauzer. She is all black. And she is one years old now, and I wouldn't be without her now. She is like my child. <laughs> I know some people are like, oh my god, your dog's not a child, but like she is like my child. And I love her pieces. So the next question is, what's your look to do? I love doing colour. Like, I just love doing colourful looks. Festival looks, like anything like that. I just can't get enough of doing colour. I just love it so much. Um, yeah, colour, without a doubt, definitely my favourite look to do is colour. Um, I'm actually dipping into the Kaylee palette now. And... I'm going to use the shade Unruly in here because I just want to make this eye look more burgundy. So the next question is what got me into makeup? Um, honestly, I think that YouTube really got me into makeup. Um, the person, Kaylee, I found her on Instagram as well and I just was obsessed with her. I still am. I love the looks that she does and I just think that she's just a really genuine down to art person. But yeah, that's basically what got me into makeup. Um, so the next question is how many persons do you have? So I got a lot of questions about piercing. I'll just start at the start of my like tattoo and piercing kind of journey, I guess. So basically, I never thought I'd ever get a piercing or a tattoo or anything like that. So I got my belly button pierced when I was like 14 and I fainted. Yeah. So I got that done in a, in a place in Waterford. Don't ask me to name it because I was 14 and I don't remember. I can barely remember yesterday so after I got my belly button pierced I was just like no 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 never again not happening no more needles going through my body no just not happening and then I went and got my very first tattoo which was this one here it means strength and that was the first tattoo I got I was like I'll just get something small because I'm petrified then I got a tattoo on my right leg I was trying to think which one I got first my right leg the tattoo on my right leg is of um, a microphone um, a lily a treble clef which is the music note or symbol that's at the start of the music sheet and um, butterflies and a little quote that says family where life begins and love never ends and then a little infinity sign at the bottom so basically that tattoo was for is for my auntie and granda that passed away my granda loved singing he was in the middle voice choir and that's why i got the microphone Um, sorry i'm going to just continue with the makeup because if i don't this video will be about three hours long so basically the lily is for my auntie she just loved lilies she would always have them in the house and 
the second you walk in the house you would smell lilies so that's why I got um, the lily and the tattoo that I have on my left leg is an owl the reason why I got an owl is because they are wise for some people this might sound weird but this is just why I got the owl then I have a full sleeve on this arm um, and the sleeve is there's a lot of things on the sleeve there's um, a pocket watch like a stopwatch clock at the top which ha which has the time that I was born I told you this look was going grungy oh my god and um oh, sorry I'm just finding it so hard to like do this and talk about like important shit at the same time I'm doing my best here so please just bear with me there's also more butterflies on my arm and there is some birds and then I have a little tattoo on my forearm on this arm which is the day that I got married um, my husband still sounds weird saying that uh, but he has the same tattoo on his arm as well yes I know it's cringy but we have matching tattoos um, of the day that we got married in Roman numerals and that's all the tattoos that I have so far I will definitely be getting more tattoos there is no doubt about it so yeah that's pretty much all my tattoos and um, be pierced is where I got all my piercings done except for my first lobe which I got um, when I was when I made my communion I think so yeah I got all my piercings done in there um, and I will be getting more so yeah the next question is sorry I didn't even answer that first question previous question was how many tattoos do I have and I just went off on a mad tangent so I have one two three does this is a sleeve just count as one tattoo if so I have four how many piercings do I have 15 piercings done in be pierced if I include my two lobes then I have 17 <laughs> so yeah um how many piercings do you have I answered that which one was the sorest I get asked this question a lot and it's hard to answer because everyone is different everyone has a different pain tolerance it's a different feeling for every person and I personally don't feel that the persons are sore they're just a pinch like it literally lasts for a few seconds and that's it for me personally sometimes with some of the persons I found that getting the clamp on was the worst part and um, because it was just that uncomfortable feeling and then the needle just goes through and that's it like literally you're done and the lads in be pierced are just so good at what they do it's it's hard for me to describe you just need to go there and just get a piercing done by them and you'll see what i mean um the source one i think for me was um i want to say my nose and that might be surprising but the reason why I say it was the sorest is because the clamp was just really uncomfortable like the clamp had to go on my nose and like pull it this way and then the needle went through um, but the clamp was the most uncomfortable part for me it is for most of my piercings what I find the sorest or most uncomfortable part is the clamp um, but I'd have to if I had to pick one I'd say the side of my nose was the sorest um, but like a girl could go in after me and get it done and be like that was grand but I think that her lobes were the sorest do you know everyone's different so it's just 
how you what it's just your pain tolerance and what you what you feel yourself if that makes any sense to anyone um which is my favorite my favorite person i'd have to say is my septum um this one here and the reason i say that is because i've always wanted it and i didn't get it for a long time because i didn't think it would suit me um but once oh, <laughs> but once i got it i just was like oh my god i love it why didn't i get this sooner and like you know with this bar that i have in it now i can turn it up so that you can't see it and um, you know you can put a ring in it there's just so much different jewelry you can get for it and i just love it it's my favorite one that i have so far um what persons are next on the list oh my god all these questions are about persons <laughs> um i want to get um my helix done i want to get it done twice up on the top of my ear um and i'll be getting another flat helix done on this ear i'm trying to wait for some of them to heal because um these ones and my conch are still fairly fresh so I just I'm taking a break for a little while <laughs> but that's the the piercings I have planned next um explain your tattoos I already did that so I probably didn't really explain them well at all but I might do another video on my tattoos like I said showing them and everything so tell us about the course you completed and the upcoming course so the course that I completed was in the Lauren Malone Academy in Gorey. Um, it was a part-time makeup course. It was on Saturdays for 16 weeks. And it was the best thing that I ever done. I wanted to get into makeup, do a makeup course for so long, but I was just too scared and afraid. Like, I have really bad anxiety and it really holds me back i got to a point where i was just like right fuck this i need to just go and do this course because i love makeup and it's what i want to do it's what i want my career to be so my nanny actually paid for me to do the course and um, ah, try not to get emotional when i like talk about it because I'll never be able to properly repair for that. Um, yeah, like she literally made my dream come true. <laughs> um, the upcoming course, um, I actually won a competition for it. Lauren handpicked me to be the winner. <laughs> I still can't believe that either, like me. <laughs> um, it's a full-time course. It's on three days a week. It's a fashion theater and media course i'll be doing special effects makeup through the ages theatrical makeup um spray tanning and upsiling and a lot more and i literally cannot wait um it's starting in october and i can't wait for it what's your favorite makeup brand hmm that's a hard question to answer um, I do have a few favourite makeup brands um, I feel like my first favourite that I would have to pick is Makeup Revolution purely because I feel like the products are really good and the price is very good especially if you're just starting out with makeup I remember when I first started doing my makeup and like practicing and things like that and I was watching all these YouTube videos and I was like, oh my god, they're using like NARS and Urban Decay and I'm poor, so <laughs> what am I meant to do? Um, I came across Makeup Revolution and I bought some of their products and I just was like, wow, like who needs Urban Decay and all those other brands? So I'll show you the first thing that I bought from Makeup Revolution and it was this um highlighter palette i use it all the time and it's just absolutely stunning i might use it in this video just so you can see what i mean but um 
I love Makeup Revolution products and um, products <laughs> products and the other product that I love is this concealer the Conceal and Define I would I'd love to know how many um tubes of this I'm after going through because it's definitely a lot I use this all the damn time on my eyes on my face like I just use it so much and I really need to continue with the makeup because this video is going to be so freaking long um sorry I'm all over the place oh my god this video is a failure um the next question is favorite food favorite food is probably pasta I know that's really bad but I could probably just live the rest of my life just eating pasta favorite shoe brand can I say bands because I don't wear like anything else other than runners really um I hate wearing heels and things like that so I don't really have a favorite brand in that sense of shoes <laughs> so yeah what's your star sign my star sign is Pisces any advice to someone just starting makeup and what products slash brushes to start with? To start with, I would say Makeup Revolution, Catrice and Essence, their products. Those brands are cheap and good. Their products are good, they work, they're worth the money and I'd probably pay more for some of the products they do have. Um, the Revolution Concealer that I've mentioned about 50 times in this video, that's definitely a product that you should start with. Um, the Catrice HD Liquid Foundation is an amazing foundation. I love that foundation and that's definitely something you could start with. Um, Essence mascaras are very good, Essence lipsticks, Catrice lip liners, um, Revolution bronzers, they have palettes that have bronzers and like light set powders in. Revolution also have a blush palette. Um, it's this palette here, which I also got in my kit in the Lauren Malone Academy, and it's very good. Um, so yeah, there are some products that are really good, and brands, those brands have the best products for the cheapest money in my opinion and they're what I started out using. Um, brushes that I started out with were Real Technique brushes and I still have them now and they're still in perfect condition. Also AliExpress, go on AliExpress and get brushes, they're really good brushes you can get on there. Um, these brushes I actually got on AliExpress, they are MSQ, that's the name on them, and I got a big set of these, I think there could have been like 15, 20 brushes in it, and I think it was like a tenner. Favourite breed of dog? I'd have to say Schnauzer, miniature Schnauzer, because that's what Susie is, but um, another favourite breed of dog of mine is... I love German Shepherds, uh, Lurchers, uh, Golden Retrievers, they're all really nice dogs. Um, all dogs are amazing, like I can't, it's hard to pick a favourite breed but yeah. Apart from makeup, will you be doing anything else on your channel? The odd vlog maybe. Yes, um, I am thinking about vlogging my time in the Laura Malone Academy. Obviously not while I'm in the Academy, but kind of my experience while I'm doing the course. Um, any ups and downs or whatever, um, it kind of will be makeup based, but it will be a vlog type of thing, maybe. <laughs> One of the last questions is, what's your favourite thing about makeup? Um, my favourite thing about makeup, I'm going to answer that while I'm finishing my face because oh my god I've literally done that in this video. I'm going to put on this Flormar Double Radiance Primer and I'm just using a Real Technique sponge and I'm just going to put this all over my face. My favourite thing about makeup is that you can literally do anything with it. 
The foundation I'm going to use is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. Anyone can do makeup, girls, boys, whatever. You can just lose yourself in makeup really. Oh my god, I look so yellow right now. Wow. Um, this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Porcelain. Makeup is my happy place. Um, makeup just cheers me up. It takes my mind off things. Um, if I am feeling down or annoyed or stressed out or my anxiety is just really bad, I'll just sit down, sit down and just do some makeup. What inspires you? The things that inspire me the most are my feelings and emotions. That might sound really strange, but if I'm having a really bad day and my anxiety is just really bad um that's when I do my most creative kind of makeup and that's when I do my colorful looks because doing color looks cheer me up um that's probably why there's a lot of color looks on my Instagram because my anxiety is bad every day um but yeah, I'm not trying to get like real down right now, but yeah, like my emotions and my feelings inspire my makeup. Yeah. <laughs> um also obviously other makeup artists inspire me. Um when I'm on Instagram and I see someone doing this like crazy mad look with like fifty million cut creases in it, um I'm like, wow, I want to try that, that looks amazing. So Instagram in general inspires me. Um so yeah. <laughs> um the blush I'm using is this Catrice blush. I only bought it, it was two euro. Um this is in the shade berry. That's really pretty. Um so yeah, um is there any questions left? I don't know, let's see. That's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to use this Revolution palette just to show you how good it is. And I'm going to use this golden shade here. For lips, I'm using this Penny's Lip Liner in the shade Desert Sand. I'm going to use this Essence lipstick in the shade 09 Special. I'm going to stick on lashes now and the lashes that I'm using today are these baby doll lashes in the style 730 and that's the lashes on. I'm going to put on some setting spray and um, I use this super drug vitamin E hydrating mist um, just to melt all the powders into my face. A nice amount. I really need a fan. I'm just going to put on some mascara now. Okay guys, so this here is the finished look. We finally got there in the end. Um, if you like this video, please comment and let me know what you thought of it. Let me know what you want to see next. If you really like the video, then hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. There will be plenty more videos coming soon. So keep an eye out and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified so you don't miss anything. I really appreciate you watching this video. It means a lot to me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!